is Van, and thanks to uh, Memorial Forest Network. And I, I think if we can go live afterwards, we can also have the website for Rate Your Professor. Uh, I'd like to see those numbers climb. I don't know about you. I'd like to really get engaged with this as a social media project. Uh, I thank Stefan very, very much, Stefan McLaughlin, for that presentation, for the work that's being done in documenting and doing some on the ground science to look at what's happening to particularly keystone species that are important to the um, to the Athabasca Chippewa and the Mississippi Cree of that region. I'm going to talk about an energy policy, but because I just can't help myself having worked years ago when I was with Sierra Club, uh, going on to Fort McMurray to oppose in particular there was an environmental assessment process uh, on the, the first of the Shell Jack Pine uh, oil sands projects. By the way, you may notice I use the term oil sands. Be very transparent about this with you. I've never explained it publicly. I had a pollster explain to me that Canadians, when polled, find oil sands sounds worse than tar sands because oil is filled and tar doesn't. So we're having this sort of um, you know, ridiculous um, uh, enemy word contest where Albertans regard you as an enemy if you say tar sands, and the environmental movement thinks you've caved if you call them oil sands. Now, bitumen in northern Alberta is neither tar nor oil, nor by the way is it crude when they start talking about shipping it up. 